Hi, this is uh, Steve Jenkins, pastor of Life Central Church, Wellington. Um, yet another occasional update uh, while the UK is in uh, lockdown. I thought I'd just give you a thought for today. In the last 24 hours or so, I've had uh, a couple of people use the phrase uh, that they feel like they're being imprisoned or, um, as my mum actually said, feel like I'm in, under house arrest. And uh, it got me to thinking about how we respond to that kind of feeling um, when we are uh, literally locked down and don't feel that we can go anywhere. And for some of us, and certainly some of the people um, that we are connected with, uh, their uh, health conditions mean that really, really should not go outside the house, either through age or pre-existing conditions, um, because of the high risk. And uh, we certainly endorse uh, what the UK government have said about that. Um, so it does make you feel like you're imprisoned in your own home. Uh, and it got me to thinking about the Apostle Paul, who uh, was on a number of occasions imprisoned for what he was doing um, and, uh, and how he responded to that. Um, and the uh, book of uh, Philippians uh, was, to the best of our knowledge, probably written while he was under some form of house arrest in Rome. Uh, so imprisoned in a home space. And then he wrote uh, words like this. I'm going to um, read from uh, the, the Passion Translation. It, it kind of unpacks it a little bit nicely from uh, Philippians chapter 4. And uh, it says this, Be cheerful and with joyous celebration in every season of life. Let joy overflow, for you are united with the Anointed One. Let gentleness be seen in every relationship, for our Lord is ever near. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell him every detail of your life. Then God's wonderful peace that transcends, transcends human understanding will make your answers known to you through Jesus Christ. There's that sense at which gratitude and love, a joyful approach, completely breaks through that sense and, and 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 i love that he is saying this from a, a place of imprisonment he himself is locked up confined and by all uh, standards that we would hold dear is in a very bad place but he's able to say come on people i can do this you can do it too be joyful always and again as the earlier translations and translations say and again i say rejoice keep it going uh, let gentleness be the thing that comes out of there and don't be pulled in different directions in your mindset. Um, as it also says in 2 Corinthians, uh, take every thought captive. Make sure that you know uh, that where you're going and what direction you are by holding on to the truth that you know and hold dear. And then that overflowing gratitude will make a difference to those prayer filled requests that you put constantly before God. I encourage that you keep praying, you keep digging in, keep looking to him as your light and your guide. He will be a lamp to your feet as it says in Psalm 119. So please today, do not be despondent, even if you feel like you're being locked in, but hold on to him. Have a read for yourself, Philippians, Philippians chapter 4, worth a read today. Be blessed and I'll talk to you again soon.